This leaf art video will show you how to take a simple template and some black markers to make a very pretty pattern leaf. It's perfect for a lesson about lines from the elements of art. And the good news is that anyone can make some really pretty leaf art with just a little bit of time and patience. The first step is to trace all the lines of the leaf template with a black marker. I find that the Sharpie fine tip ones are the perfect size. They're not too thick, but plenty wide to cover up those little lines. Go slowly and see how closely you can stay right on top of them. After you're done tracing all of the outer lines, be sure to trace the inside vein lines too. They will help you divide the leaf into lots of closed spaces. Now it's time to fill in those spaces with some patterns. The Sharpie Ultra Fine Point markers are really great for this. Choose a tiny shape and repeat it again and again. And please keep in mind that my examples are meant just to give you some ideas. You can mix these up or do variations, or better yet, make your own. I'm starting with some very small circles with a little dot inside. They don't all have to touch each other, just try to make the section look like it's really full. For the next section, I'm going to make some zigzag lines. You can start in one corner and work across, or begin in the middle and work out. It really doesn't matter. And please don't worry about trying to make them perfect. Just see how close you can get them together without touching. You'll start to see that the more detailed your patterns are, the cooler your leaf is starting to look. I've decided to go with waves for the next section. This time I am starting in the middle first. The next section is going to be filled in with swirls. These are fun as they can be large or small and are easy to fill in next to each other. There's no rules, just try to make them close together. You can even add some half circles around the edges if you want. The next pattern is something that I call hatch lines. It's little sets of lines that rotate to kind of look like a weaving. Moving on to the next section, I'm going to try some dashed lines. Some are going to be long and some short, but they are all parallel to each other. And you can always do something really easy, like just some very neat straight lines. You know, those little swirls are so much fun to draw. I think I'm going to do some just a little bit bigger now. Now I'm going to add something I call lightning lines. They're mostly straight, but have a few zigzags in them. Finally, some radiating circles are easy to do. Just start in one spot and then add rings growing out from it. Once your entire leaf is filled with patterns, you can display it the way it is, or cut it out like I did here and then hang it up like a falling leaf. Either way, it's really easy to make some beautiful leaf art with just a template, some markers, and a little bit of careful drawing. Please check out my website, Arch Projects for Kids, for hundreds of more fun art projects like this one.